About three months ago we started Hellblade with only a small art team in place. The game is set in the times of Vikings and Celts, so we decided to go to a Viking exhibition at the British Museum in London to try and gain some inspiration for the game. You know, my feeling is like, as soon as we walked in, it was just, just how much uh, detail is in stuff. The brooches in particular, the insane amount of detail. But we were really surprised about the amount of gold, ornate gold uh, they had. I didn't, I didn't spend that. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to add uh, some cool element on the concept when we go back. What was really nice was that it wasn't just about looking at the objects, but it was about discussing them, trying to understand the culture behind them and coming up with new ideas. One idea we had was that you know there would there'd be kind of sacrifices for going into these layers of kind of hell. You'd have to make and maybe make sacrifices of animals, and and it would be more of a kind of spiritual thing where you know you're kind of like your body may go somewhere else, and and that was backed up by you know some dialogue that was in there that talked about that as, as a very firm belief. So that was cool. It was a great reference gathering trip. We saw lots of really interesting artifacts and were able to really immerse ourselves in the history of the time. So after the trip. Uh, we started gathering additional reference, which every team member would put on Pinterest. These images contain ideas for characters, environments, costumes, um, and also art for that period. So with Hellblade, we, we do want to create um, a, a unique kind of vision. And so these images really just act as inspirational um, images. Um, you know, the goal ultimately is to take that and kind of set out a unique art style. So even at such an early stage, uh, the trip definitely kind of had an influence on the concepts that we're creating. Uh, and also the development of the teaser trailer. Uh, you can see in Senua's uh, costume, there's some elements that are coming through, um, and also a lot of the character concepts were, were definitely inspired by the trip. We started with the simple Viking costumes and tried to transform them into, into the enemies, what, what we wanted. So we, we went through different stages of character development to get to the more crazy, crazy looking monsters. direction but is really just the first step towards it. So in a future episode we'll be showing how we've taken that reference and we're shaping it into an art style to create a unique vision for Hellblade. One last thing, we currently have positions open on Hellblade and other projects for experienced, passionate and creative programmers. If you think that's you, visit ninjatheory.com for more details.